What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Modern Dating here. Let's get straight into it. I, I really want him to go. And he <laughs> flat out refuses, saying that he can't afford it. And you know what? After all of this, like, really, if he can't afford to go to this wedding with me, I really don't know if I can afford to remain in this relationship. With him. <laughs> I can't afford to go to another country. This isn't. She was sick. Bar, here's the thing. If your woman is comfortable enough to give you an ultimatum like that, you need to leave her before she leaves you. Cuts fired! Shots I'm just fired! saying, it's a test. And the fact that she expects this man to pay thousands of dollars on a trip to go watch somebody else get married, it's not even his own wedding. I don't blame him for saying no. I'll look at the pictures, baby girl. I need to go to this freaking wedding. Cass and I have said no to weddings before. Chat, let me know. Would you say no to a destination wedding that was way out of your budget? Personally, I would, but that's just me. Shut that door. We're done. We're done if you close that door. Close the door. You can comprehend. If you shut that door, we're done. I'm not playing with Stupid. You. What you mean we done? Done. D-O-N-E. Green check I mean, mark I mean, done. I know done mean, but why are you saying we done if I shut the door? Because if you shut that door, we're done. I'm not playing right, with you. Shut like, the door. For real. She's just playing. You what? pick your poison. You got a choice. You was. I'm coming pick your food up. I don't care about that food. If you shut my door, you're walking home and you're single. I'm not playing, bro. I'm not. I'll be playing. like, I don't have time to play these games. Can it? Are you serious? Did you really just shut the door? So Why was she stupid, surprised dude. that he's so dumb? Why are you playing these dumb games, bro? <laughs> stupid. Makes no sense to me. I think he gets into some of the comments here. Shut the door, eat the food, catch an Uber. Yep, dude. I I have really nice friends I can set you up with, and they're fine. And that that's a good looking guy. His name was Cannon. Um, he was he was buff. It would have I would have shut the door off the second time of her saying it. I would have ate the food and called the homeboy to pick me up for real though, my dildo. There's no way I would have put up with that. Especially if a girl's got the phone out, like you already know she's playing games. Trying to be the boss, that masculine masculine energy did not work, never does. No, it doesn't. Well, you could tell she was playing, bro. Like she was definitely playing. She wasn't being for real. She wasn't being serious at all. Um but that's the problem. These women like to put you through these tests. And especially with the rise of social media nowadays, every everybody wants to be an influencer. Everybody wants to go viral. So they're like, well, if I do something like this online, then I'll get attention and it'll be good for me. It's like, goodness, it's not always the case. Sometimes that publicity is not good. It'll be the destruction of your career so quick. Coming up, it's my best friend's wedding. I am in it. I'm a bridesmaid. Oh, okay, and my, my boyfriend's not in the wedding, but I... I really want him to go. And he flat out refuses, saying that he can't afford it. And you know what? After all of this, like, if somebody is not willing to pay for at least, like, their half of this vacation, like, oh, I don't know if I want to be in a relationship with them. It, yeah, it's a destination. This, this wedding is in the Dominican Republic. This wedding is in another country. Bro, no I can't way. afford to go to another country. This isn't This isn't my best friend. That's ever. true. And I'm not flying to another country paying thousands of dollars. But, but, but it is a moment a for wedding. your for the girl that you're dating to be in a wedding of her best friends when you want to be that. Bro, a girl that you're dating, though, it's not your wife. Big difference, bro. I wouldn't have done that for, like, a college girlfriend. Ain't no way, bro. Here's that with her? I can look at the pictures. I mean, I want her to go. <laughs> I want her to have a good time. I understand that you want them there, but I'm sure there's going to be others that can't have their significant other with them, right? You know what I'm saying? So isn't it okay to go single and let Jamie save that money for another trip? Really, if he can't afford to go to this wedding with me, I really don't know if I can afford to remain in this relationship with him. Oh, she That's must so be joking stupid, at dude. this point. That's stupid. so stupid, bro. She really expects that from this man. Like, this is wild. If you can't afford it, don't go. Be smart, not emotional. If she leaves, she, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I would just dip. He just, he just doesn't want to go because if his buddies were going to go for spring break, he would have money. Eh, I doubt that's the case. She's being unre unreasonable. I'm in Miami, so this happens a lot. He is not required to go with you. That's what I'm saying, especially a destination wedding. I don't even know your friends like that, and you want me to buy a plane ticket and go over there and do hotel accommodations? That's expensive. She said, that's what I'm saying. She should pay. He's being responsible. He knows he can't afford to go. Why would he put yourself in debt for someone else? That's what I'm saying. It's like when you go to somebody's wedding, it's like a day it's like, honestly it's more like an afternoon of stuff that's actually going down and it's like bro i'm not i'm not spending this much money on a freaking afternoon you must be out of your i know the modern dating scene sucks but so does getting hurt physically have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case every year as an image consultant i meet so many different types of clients and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries and i was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. 
America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. Freaking gourd. I'm not spending all this time and effort and energy and money. Bro, come on. Get out of here with that. That's so stupid, bro. I would never, I would Should never spend a substantial value. amount of money on somebody else's wedding just to go to it. Uh-uh, you gotta be out of your mind, bro. Hold more value than a trip or a wedding that will only last for a day. She has a new coping mechanism strategy to help them through the moment when they are blocked by their exes. If he had to block you so that he could be with his girlfriend, you are a winner. You won. Because if he had to block you so that their relationship could work, you are Stupid. a menace to humanity. And I want you to know that because ain't no what? way that this person is so obsessed with you that you had to be blocked because they had no self-restraint. They had no discipline. They it's called having respect. Shots fired! Shots fired! Maybe you don't know much about that because I know your barber or your hairdresser did not respect you when she gave you those bangs. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. Blocking your exes is just respectful. Like, or just deleting their numbers is what you should do couldn't they literally couldn't hold themselves back from checking up on you from maybe even messaging you from watching your stories excessively like they watch your stories in 10 seconds after you post them they even like the stories and you know that this connection it didn't work out for whatever reason but it was something real and something real is always something to be reckoned with so i don't know if anybody has told you that but literally if you had to be blocked so that two other people could be together then you are a force to be reckoned with because you just have an effect those bangs are a force to be reckoned with shots fired shots fired what are you hiding under there hopefully it's a brain but i doubt it <laughs> on this person that is unmatched and the other person feels it because people can always feel energy and they feel when people are being weird you know when they talk about you or you know they, they are looking at your profile or whatever or maybe there's even like a weird relationship kink going on and they just get off on like looking at your profile and like wanting to to know things about you. I want to get off on you chopping off those bangs. Shots fired! Shots fired! I'm doubling down on the bangs. Those things are trash. Because that is the spice. You're literally the spice in the relationship. But if you had to be blocked, girl, you are... Tell me you're a side piece without telling me you're a <laughs> side piece. This girl's the epitome of a side chick. Menace. I want to be this Delulu. For real. Telling myself that... Uh, yeah, bro, this is crazy. I had to be unfriended everywhere. This is crazy. My boyfriend blocked his ex because she'd still post him like they were together, but it's been six years and he already has a family with me. Oh my God. Yeah, that girl won. Bro, this is so dumb. Where do girls get this? This is where this self-centered ideology and this narcissistic, they both blocked me. I'm being so real when I tell you I blocked him because I liked him more than my boyfriend. What? Maybe you ladies do that, but... Honestly, I just delete numbers. I'll just straight up delete you. I hit you with the control alt delete. You know, you're just no longer in the phone. And it's not because I think we're in chat. Let me know. I know we have a lot of gentlemen in here. Do we do that out of a sign of respect or um, a sign of restraint of us saying, you know what? I promise not to reach out to her, baby. I think we do it out of a sign of respect. Like, hey, she's no longer in my phone. It's just like, why would I need you on my phone if you're my ex? I would always tell girls in college, they would be like, well, don't you have friends that are girls? Don't you have like friends that are like, you know, chicks and stuff like that? I'm like, no, I have no girls that are friends. It's strictly for the sheets with you. I'm not doing this friend stuff. You must be out of your freaking gourd. Best option. Guys are always coming on here talking about, oh, I wish I had a weird girlfriend. Oh, I just wish I had a weird GF. But then when I call you, 
at 3 a.m. on a schizophrenic flat earth rant talking to you about the ice wall, then it's a problem and you want to ghost me. Okay, poser. I don't know many guys who claim no, they no, want to... No, no. See, weird and, like, mentally unwell is is another thing. Weird is in, like, you like anime, stuff like that, but calling me at 3 a.m. for a schizophrenic rant? Eee, I don't know if that's what we mean by weird. Is that what you guys mean by weird? Definitely not what I mean by weird. I'm going to keep it a buck. That's, um... That's not... That's kind of scary. I'm going to be honest. If a girl did that, I'd be kind of freaking out. I'm going to keep it a buck. Loki's not here today. You guys have probably noticed he is at uh, PetSmart getting bathed. So he needed, this little boy needed a bath. He was starting to sneakies. So uh, we had to get him a little bath there. Um, let's jump into this next video. Hey, let's scare, I've, shall we? I wish more people would explain why they broke up. Um, I can't find the original video because my internet sucks right now. But I want to give the story of why I got divorced. Um, hi, my name's Natalie. I am 30 years old now. But I got married. God, I know this story is about to be riveting. Wants to give us the story of why she got divorced. Let me move this over a little bit so you guys can see it. This is absolute buffoolery to me. This is absolutely wild. All right, here we go. Let's get back to it. I was 19 and I was married for three and a half years. Damn, I got married after six months of knowing someone. That's not smart. I wouldn't recommend it. It's a way longer video. I can't explain it all right now why I got married because I didn't just like, oh, I got married for love. Like, yeah, I thought like he was the love of my life at the time, but I was 19. Like, what did I expect? I thought I knew everything then. You were lost in the sauce, baby. <laughs> we know what you was lost in. Um, anyways, I was married to this guy, and he was very abusive of course. and very manipulative. I love it. I love it. I was like, he was a narcissist. He was toxic. What else? Let's see if she takes any accountability. Doubt it. And, you know, I, I'm not perfect. Like, okay. I look back now, I'm like, okay, like, there's things I could have done a lot better. Okay. I could have handled way more maturely. You know, I'm not perfect. But, but. he was very different like when i first met him he totally loved on me and then after like a year like right after we got married he completely changed and he became an alcoholic and an abuser to other substances okay and you know when you're 20 when you're 19 like you're, you have a lot of growing to do in the next few years and he wasn't growing with me um she in the way him. i wanted to grow and I if you it. know me in real life um you probably would have known that i love being in a committed relationship i love being a wife you love being in a committed relationship so much that you got a divorce shots fired shots fired <laughs> make it make sense bro stupid i love providing people i love caring for people and i treat people with respect that i'm with and love and whatever you know like the normal things right like but he did not appreciate me Aww. and that was the issue um he manipulated me into staying with him because i tried leaving many times because he became very abusive um he didn't allow me to have a job he didn't allow me to go to school he got jealous of my family made me cut them off at one point i wasn't allowed to have friends i wasn't allowed to go out um he... have you ever thought that maybe her family was toxic Maybe her friends were toxic. And I, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck here. I don't let Cass go out. She, do, she doesn't get to go to the bar. She doesn't get to go to the club. She gets to go see her family. That's about it. Like, I'm, I'm not just being like, yeah, baby, why don't you just go ahead and go to Vegas? By yourself, I'll get you a hotel. No, I don't want my girl going to the club. He became very addicted to alcohol. I actually saw him punch his sister in the face once. That is a little crazy. Um... I have a video of it, but I'm trying to get, I'm, I can't release that. I can't because I'm scared that something could happen. But anyways, um, yeah. Anyways, he would go out and spend all of the money that he made. He made, he had made like pretty good money every year. And you know, he wanted to be a provider for me, but he would spend all of the money on alcohol. He would drink before work, after work, and he was very secretive about it. And That's it got to problem. the point where we didn't have money for like rent and food. Ooh. And at some points I had to go to beg my parents to buy me food to bring home and groceries. And I would bring the groceries home and he would get so jealous and so mad. I'm like, dude, you want to be a provider, but you're not being a provider. You're not providing. Stop it. Get some, Get some help. help. We often talk about women who idealize marriage at 19. Well, I'm almost betting you that the guy she got married to showed some signs that he was probably going to be an alcoholic. 
I doubt the dude just picked up the bottle and just started losing his life down the neck of a bottle of whiskey. More than likely, this stuff was already happening. And so what these women will do is that they come in and they really do be thinking that they can save these men. They think, oh, I can save him. I can be his hero. I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> and like I said, almost, I almost biggity bet you that there were some signs that this man was a little bit, you know, maybe going to be off the deep end or had a drinking problem beforehand, but she still decided to marry him. This is why I say, like, she needs to take accountability for it. You shouldn't have dated the guy for just six months. Six months is not long enough. I think nowadays, minimum three years to date somebody before you marry them. You need to see every bit of their personality. Happy, sad, mad, glad, all of it. In the dumps, at their highest, at their lowest. And at six months, at 19, I'll be honest, she's pretty gullible. She probably believed everything that this man said. She shouldn't have married him. And I almost bet you her family was like, don't marry this guy. It's only been six months. But she was like, oh, I want to get married. Let's see what this guy has to say. Two things that you need to understand if you're going through a breakup or a divorce with a narcissistic person. If you guys are new here, my name is Scott. I'm a certified divorce recovery coach, and I'm also an ordained minister. Let's talk about it. Two things, guys. The first one is this, and it's probably going to be a little painful for some of you guys. A narcissistic person will not leave you or break up with you or divorce you or do any of those things until they have a new supply. They will not divorce you or break up with you unless they already have someone else lined up. And yes, that means they were probably cheating on you before they left. I'm sorry that that hurts, but it's the truth. The second thing is this. What if you're the one who leaves them? What if you're the one that files for divorce? What if you're the one that breaks up with them? Well, then they're going to double down on everything that they did to get you in the first place. They're going to go back and start being sweet and romantic. They'll be willing to go to therapy and all these things. They'll go to church with you, whatever it is that you want to do so they can reel you back in. It's called hoovering. Maybe they've actually changed this time. It's going to be different. They, they, they seem so hoovering, much hoovering like <laughs> hoover vacuums. <laughs> I think I get that better now. The only reason they're doing that is because they have got to maintain a supply. These people cannot function by themselves. This is where you will also see them jump into another relationship very quickly, Monkey very virgin. quickly, because their entire reality is built around other people. And some of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And I would love to hear your story. Make sure you leave me a comment, guys. Hope this helps somebody. Totally agree, but I have one question. Where do these ridiculous titles come from? Honestly, do they make up these careers? Or do people actually I mean, study for a, them? I'm a certified, ordained, um, <laughs> divorce <laughs> coach. <laughs> like, what? I mean, it's some good advice, but it's a, I'll keep it a buck. That is a very odd title, I agree. I'm a certified, ordained, recovery, breakup, divorced, attorney, coach, pastor. <laughs> But I'm a YouTuber at best. I'm a YouTuber at best. I'm a divorced mum of two. Oh, y'all know we gotta hit it. Single mom. Now you're a single mom. Good for you, honey. And I've been separated now for three years. Oh, and baby. I have experienced what it feels like to be in a marriage where you feel alone and you feel undesired, uh, you feel unsupported, and you feel unheard. And being in that Give situation- Give us another un-something. ...can be crippling to your self-esteem and confidence. How can, this is what I don't get about the whole self-esteem and self-confidence thing. How are you gonna let somebody else mess up how you feel about you? <laughs> goes back to the Charleston White thing. I'm just throwing rocks at if it hits you, holla. If somebody's saying something and it gets you upset, those are your emotions. Those are your feelings. Stop getting mad at it. If it doesn't have any importance to you and it doesn't resonate to you personally, then why are you getting, why are you tripping up about it? It's like if somebody said I had a big forehead. Duh, I know I got a big forehead. <laughs> you got big ears. I know. Like, you're not going to bother me. This is why I think you need to be extremely critical of yourself, because once you can be critical of yourself, you can take the power away from anyone else trying to be critical of you. Have you ever seen the, this is a super cheesy example, but like, look at Eminem in 8 Mile when he's going up against whatever his name, I can't remember his name is. Um, but you know, you typically you roast each other in a rap battle. 
Eminem starts roasting himself, and what does that do? It takes all the power away from the person roasting him to say, hey, I know what you're going to say bad about me because I know all my flaws and I own them. As soon, it's just like if somebody's bullying you or being mean to you. Agree with them and double down on what they're saying bad about you. It's just going to make them look like an idiot because you're kicking somebody when they're, when they're down. The reason people get bullied and the reason people get you know made fun of and they get – you probably knew somebody in high school or college where they got attacked constantly is because these people are the ones that give them the most back. People bully you, and then you reciprocate that energy, and then they want to keep bullying you. As for me, I would just agree with them. Levi, you're ugly and poor. I know, dude. I am the ugliest dude here and probably the poorest guy you know. And they're like, <laughs> wait, you're not supposed to agree with me? Well, well, you're you're stupid. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, let me be the first one to tell you, I'm stupid. I am so dumb. I am stupid. Just trust me. And they're like, well, we don't want to bother Levi anymore. He just agrees with us. That's why they keep it moving. This is where I don't I don't see how like somebody can mess up your self esteem. It's your self esteem. It's the way you feel about yourself. How does somebody else change that? And what I have experienced in my journey what kind is of journey are we talking about? that I discovered that I had an anxious attachment. So my people pleasing tendencies got me into these situations with mostly avoidant style men and so you pick bad men just say just call it what it is this is not a video to bash my ex-husband then what is it uh, it is not a video to you know bash men at all then what is this, this is a video of how you can empower yourself after a divorce and my 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 top my top tip for you know getting through yeah. a divorce when you're a little anxiously attached mm. maybe you feel really exhausted oh i'm so tired and you feel really low Lowest of the lows. your self worth is just like <sighs> bottomed out bottomed out bottom of the and ocean. you're scared that you're going to be alone forever <sighs> maybe you're very strong you're very independent you've you've got how are you scared that you're going to be alone forever but then you're independent and strong Bro, this makes no sense. Your career sorted, you've got your kids sorted, you can do amazing things, and just smile the pain you're away, just honey. worried that you're not going to nail that piece and, and find your piece. person. And I'm here to tell you Bro, that. This is why I say you got to fall in love with yourself before you fall in love with anybody else. Stop looking for validation in other people. No woman is going to make you, or significant other, is going to make you happy about being you. You have to love yourself first. Then, once you love yourself, somebody can come in and love the person that you are. How is somebody supposed to come in and love somebody that doesn't even know themselves? This is so dumb to me. You absolutely can, and you absolutely will. And it really requires just to see relationships. I love it when women tell stories and they get to the point. Shots fired! Shots fired! This is like fired. my favorite part. Differently. And by differently, I mean dating in a way where you put yourself first and you know what you want. So getting clarity, okay, do I want to be married again? Do I want to just have a long-term committed plan with someone? Um, do I want more kids? You know, getting clear this on is, that. This is such bad advice, good Lord. Putting yourself first in a relationship, that's not how relationships work. Relationships now mean, hey, we are a team. When you're in a good relationship, you put the collective first, then your own needs separately. You have to be thinking more about the team. You're now a team player, not a solo player on a team. It's like, it's just so bad. It's just some of the worst advice. All right, let's get into the Discord. What do we got? What do we got? Um, let's see here. Um, okay, let's see. Honestly, what this I is. feel like. Honestly, I feel like anytime. <laughs> Anytime I hear a girl saying this, I already know it's going to be so dumb. Stupid. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I feel like every guy that I've slept with that said my was so She's a runner. She's a track star. Pretty gave me the confidence to do what I do now. I've heard from my Yelp reviews that my is really pretty. So why don't everyone just see my That's why we do only Exactly. Because so, why would I have like the body that I have and, and not do only I've also got a lot of compliments on my t But I think- What size are you? B. Yeah. I'm, I'm a B too. I think it's just 
I don't, I don't know why. But like, Stupid. mine can be a little perky sometimes, but I, I don't know, maybe I should get a boob job. I am getting a boob job. How big? C. I'm going a size I mean, up. I feel like I could go with C. Yeah, you definitely could go C. If I can go C, you can go C. Why don't you two girls go to C and get lost? Shots fired! Shots fired! Because good freaking lord. This is so sad to see this stuff, man. These girls are sitting there literally going back and forth making more than plumbers and electricians. It's cra this is crazy work. This is absolutely crazy work, bruv. It's, it's really disheartening. You would have told me you did, like, OnlyFans before we went on the date. Because, like, I just, I just really can't agree with that, you know? Like... How am I gonna want to date somebody if they're just like putting their body online, you know? Like, I feel like it's not that deep. I mean, somebody's that deep. Shots fired! Shots Somebody fired! is that deep. That might be what you think, but like in the future, like, it's gonna really affect you. So, all right. This whatever. man is preaching. This man is preaching. Tell these 304s. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of this man. I am so proud of him. Good good on him, dude. Good on him. Let's see here. Uh, Billy has anxiety. His previous owners abandoned him and he shakes sometimes. I still love him, though. What in the actual dog water is that? What is that? What is that? This is also from Mira Jane. My husband and making uh, my husband is making us fly home from our honeymoon after one day because he found out I sent my ex a simple goodbye text on the morning of our wedding. It was a goodbye text for goodness sake, not an I will always love you text, not a drop everything and meet me at the altar text. I needed to say goodbye to have closure on the unmarried part of my life. Please tell my sensitive slash nostalgic girlies understand. Oh my. Bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck. If you do that, you're for the streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. Why do you feel the need to talk to your freaking ex-boyfriend and tell him goodbye? Bro, what is that? You should never even talk to this man again. You should never even want to conversate with this man. Not ever, not once. This is this is crazy work, bro. Cra absolutely crazy work. These modern women really be... <laughs> These modern women really be doing this best friend convinced me to get a sugar daddy okay okay and so i went online found a guy this girl ain't getting no sugar bro shots fired shots fired <laughs> that girl getting no sugar that girl getting straight salt bro he, this, yeah. he was sending me checks yikes have you guys ever seen the uh the wicked witch of the west from the uh what is it arthur bro let me just stop let me just one sec one sec one sec one sec one sec uh the sword in the stone uh, the witch. Bro, I'ma keep it a buck. I'ma keep it a buck. Madam Mim! <laughs> Madam Mim! It's my girl! Madam Mim! Bro, tell me! Bro, I'm horrible. Right, okay, let's get back to it. X through email, through having email, me deposit it. Through email? What the f? Said I like cash up. Okay, go. Okay, go I ahead. asked if he had cash up. He sugar said daddy? no. This was like a virtual sugar daddy situation. Yeah, like over the phone type st stuff. Um, we called those the uh, the gold prince, uh, the the Nigerian scammers. I'm gonna send you a check for 10k, and you gotta deposit it and send me five back. Come on, dude. And so I would deposit the checks. He'd have me keep some and then use Cash App to send it to somebody else. Bro, this is so stupid. So then how the f is that screaming? How old were you? Twenty-one. How the wow. f was that not screaming red flags in your head three years into adulthood? Madam Mim. Sending on, girl. money to another random person? I guess I'm just too trusting for my own good. Uh, was it the f like validation from him was so, it like so he didn't want any like pictures or anything like that other red flag yeah uh um, i want nothing from you baby but i'm just gonna give you like four <laughs> grand <laughs> it makes sense he said he just wanted to talk somebody to talk to <laughs> this was also late Stupid. at night and I had not gone to bed yet. This is like three, four o'clock in the morning. Yes, men only want to talk after 10 p.m. <laughs> Historically. And um, so then two days later, my 
a whole bank account gets frozen, then they are like, hey, you owe like almost $4,000. Oh, wait, how much were these checks coming in? They were like... Checks. Um, nine thousand nine hundred. And how much were you supposed to send to the other person? Like 700 of it. And you thought there was a random $700 tax to a random person? No, he said it was for his, um, like, help, like, his, like... Did you ever see this (laughs) face? It was like... (laughs) No. He was sending me pictures through text. Oh, did you never do the two, three, four finger rule? My ex best friend convinced me to. Wow, this girl is stupid, bro. You you cannot fall for these. Madam Mim really got bamboozled, bro. <laughs> man, the stuff you see, man, it just blows me away. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the poor, uh, poor, the poor fillers, uh, <laughs> poor fillers. <laughs> The Four Pillars of Personality ebook makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.